Hey y'all, so I'm gonna try to keep this as quiet as possible and I'm gonna boost the audio so if it sounds kind of weird, I apologize. But I'm trying to stay quiet because it is currently 1.30 in the morning. Technically, it's Thursday, the day this video is supposed to go up. But we are going through the flip through, starting with blue, going to purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and I was just about to say blue, but we are ending with teal because it is like the full circle kind of thing because it is the last November, and unlike Inktober, I actually finished this challenge. So I'm super excited about that. I'm not as excited as I am right now, only because like I said, it is 1.30, I am exhausted, and my brother is next door sleeping, and he's probably hearing me talking to myself thinking I'm fucking crazy. But I don't care, I finished November, and I'm super happy, and I'm super proud of myself, because I don't think I finished a challenge like this, like on my own, in years. So go me. Like, maybe except Mermaid, but this is something different, you know, like monochromatic hues and stuff. It's just super out of my comfort zone. But for this, I wanted to just do something simple, something cute. And I wanted to do some of my favorite OCs that I have, which is Cole and Casper, because I freaking love them. I love them so much. They're always so cute and cuddly and like way too much PDA. And the only reason I was thinking about them with this is because specifically in Casper's original design, his shirt is like a greenish teal blue so that's all i can think about with the color teal is i always associate it with like casper so i just decided to go with casper and cole and i just wanted something cuddly something cute and the only thing i could think of because right now outside it is disgusting it is cold it's currently snowing where i am and it's all gray and gross and i know teal can be kind of gray but i didn't have any gray teal i had a couple like one or two but for the most part it's very vibrant i decided to have them in like a winter walk, sat down for some cuddles because it's probably cold. Casper is, you know, tiny, he's cold. So of course they're gonna sit and cuddle because why not? And honestly, I know I've said with the yellow especially, that I was like, oh, the yellow was so hard to do because it's so similar. The teal was very hard. <laughs> a lot of teals are very similar, especially the markers that I have considering that they're like four or five years old, maybe six on some of them. And I only had a certain amount, like I used every single one of the teals and some of them were definitely more blue and some of them were definitely more green but hey listen it's a spectrum just like i did purpley pink and pinky purple i can do the bluish green so some parts are definitely more blue and some parts are definitely more green but it's fine i still like the way it came out and i'm very proud that i didn't use any black i think the only time i used black was on the blue because it was supposed to be take this to your grave which is blue and black but the teal just went with whatever I felt like. The darkest color is like this super dark olive green that looks black, but it's really not. It's like an olive bluish green. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like definitely using like greens and blues, like actual greens and blues was cheating, but I had to cheat. Like some colors I just couldn't get dark enough or they did not have the right value and I had to layer certain colors. And especially one of the colors, I have these Ecoline watercolor markers. I can't remember how long ago I got them, but I had this one green that I was gonna use for the grass in the background. and. I just, I started underneath the bench because when I swatched it, it was kind of dry. I think it was just dry when I got it and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to salvage it. So I noticed it wasn't going to be working. So I just decided to switch to alcohol marker, which I normally don't use in my sketchbook. So I had to put a piece of paper on because I know these Bailey J sketchbooks, the markers bleed through. So it took me a while to find the color. That's why underneath the bench is like a completely different color than above the bench for the grass because I had to color match like an Ohuhu marker, Copic marker, Prismacolor marker, Premier Red Nicole, any brand marker just to match that green. And the one I did find was my Ohuhu BG1 turquoise green. It was as close as I was going to get. It's a little more muted than I would have liked, but in terms of hue, it's like perfect. Also, we just talked about the ducks in the background, like coloring them with these alcohol markers. I am so freaking tired right now that they just kind of got a little smooshed in the background, but we're just going to ignore them. They're fine. I woke up this morning, 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. It's currently 1.30, like I said, and my dumbass didn't start this illustration because normally I would have these at least sketched out and finished before the Wednesday before. I started this on Wednesday the 27th at 6 p.m. That's when I finally had a chance to sit down and work on this because today is Thanksgiving and I had to go grocery shopping. I had to bake cookies. I had to deal with my aggravating mother. 
He just keeps asking the same questions over and over. Like, mom, I know what I'm doing. But I didn't actually start getting this sketched out until like six o'clock, like I said. And I got it sketched, finished by like 9.30. Because I, I kept pausing. I don't know why. I got to inking. And then at like 10 o'clock, I was like, I am absolutely going to fall asleep before I finish this. Mm, what is this? A ghost energy drink, Welch's grape juice flavor? Not sponsored. I just really like that flavor. Yes, please. So 10 o'clock, I had an energy drink. I had an energy drink this morning. 10.30, I had a Dunkin' energy drink, which is like 250 milligrams of caffeine. And then I had a soda in the middle of the day. And then an energy drink at night because I'm a caffeine addict. But I know I wanted to get this done, so this is going to be absolutely worth it. I'm going to... Mm. I still have to edit this video. And... Yeah. I decided to time myself, though, because I did not want to stay up longer than I needed to. So I put on Jacksepticeye's first episode of the Silent Hill 2 remake, which is about 2 hours and 10 minutes. So that's all I'm giving myself to work on this video. And technically, I paused for 10 minutes to do this voiceover. But we're not going to count that. That doesn't count. So I think I'm just going to leave it here with how freaking cute these OCs are. I love them so much. We've had them for just about 10 years now, which is, oh my God. You're telling me I was 16 when I made these beauties? Like, mm, oh, chef's kiss. The, they're perfect for each other. They always have been. But I'm going to leave it at that with the mention that tomorrow is my Black Friday sale, which I have done zero advertising for this month because I was so preoccupied with everything else going on in my life. Um, I'm going to be having the entire Etsy shop on sale for 80% off for Friday only. And then for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for Cyber Monday weekend, I'm going to be have everything 50% off. Because all these like pansy Black Friday deals, like I'm seeing 20% off, 30% off, like that's Memorial Day deals. If you're not stabbing somebody for a TV, it's not Black Friday. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Be sure to check out my Etsy. The link is down below. And oh my God, please support my Instagram because I'm so tired. I did not make this video for nothing. That's down below and also the link. And then, you know, I would say like comment, subscribe, but I'm not that person, but I'm really, really tired. So maybe, please. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I have to figure out how to edit this video without my brother waking up because this is embarrassing. Okay, bye.